but it smells good. There's cooking in the air, there's baking. There's lots of lovely cuisine smells. Perhaps because it's coming up in the midday, but uh, what I take in it. Boreda, Pembley Happy CV. We and Kairvadon have you. I'm in Bath today. On me birthday. Today. place mind in it bath what a take it just feels so much more civilized than anywhere in Wales I'll have to be careful what I say now and it's in David's day slagging your own country off on St David's day in an English city <laughs> When I have been to Bath in the past, I've sort of come here and thought that this was the famous Crescent. And I'm, I wonder how many other people have thought that this is the Crescent. But this is actually the circus. So Bath and Zummerza, all right, my loves, is spoiling us, isn't it, for its architecture. So this is the Royal Crescent and uh, I have not been here before, this is a first. I only got as far as the circus believing that that was the, uh, the Crescent. So the circus and the Crescent, I'll leave out the word Royal because even though Bath is a Georgian city, people who follow me on Twitter will know by now that I am a hardline, die-hard Republican, so mystic, die-hard Republican. And you can just make out the yellow front door. And um, the interesting thing about that, so I understand, is that 
the council or the, the local authority uh, tried to force the person who wanted to paint the door yellow, court, action. Oh, there was lots of fuss and fandango, but uh, the independent spirit of the person um, won out in the end. So what I take to her, isn't it? So all doors are white on the Crescent in Bath, apart from this one. Number 22, Die Veg Die, is yellow, and all the other doors are white. So never let it be said that yellow is the colour of cowards. Yellow, in this case, she fought the law, and the law didn't win. Civilized is this? I, I've come to civilization here, haven't I? I have actually come to civilization. Have they got this in Butte Park in Cardiff? Oh, uh, we'll pass by that very quickly. The falling out. Right, well, the old boy has decided to perch himself on a little bench here now in the Royal Victoria Park. I have specifically come to the park to get away from the madding and the maddening crowd. At the moment, you try and Take a shot or speak. Somebody appears, either on your shoulder or in the distance. Typical, isn't it? You're bursting for a slash and the toilets are closed. Well, it is the first day of March. So, what's a man to do? If I go for a piss in a bush or an edge, I'll probably get picked up on CCTV camera and uh, get rushed off as a, a pervert or a flasher or a sexual deviant but I might have to take the risk Pours if you're interested Well, if I don't get any more footage today, that will have been worth the trip to Bath in itself. That is the first time in my 56 years that I have seen a wiwer, a squirrel, hiding 
it's nuts. He had an acorn and he, he, she, it, they, them, whatever pronouns squirrels go by. Sorry, I mustn't make light of these things. Well, you're getting all the wildlife today in the Royal Victoria Botanic Gardens in Bath, in Caerfaddon. Right, on St David's Day, I have spotted a bench with a Union Jack on it. And I am going to have to park my rather large rotund posterior on this bench with a Union Jack and it is in fact the Bath WI Garden and uh, show, so one must show a little bit of uh, respect um, the uh, Women's Institute a uh, little flower pot there how quaint so with their sort of permission I'm going to take a seat on the Union Jack I can hear Vera Lynn singing in the background as I take my position on the Union Jack bench. Welsh arse down on Union Jack bench now. Yeah, you can be in the most secluded bit of the Royal Botanical Garden and a bod shows up. So, yeah. It's not so much that I was wild, but uh, mood swings. Mood swings from 13 years of age till 39. Uh, so I've had two falls from grace, if you like, at 21 and at 39. So I've worked out that uh, Mystic Die Hard Republican has a nervous breakdown every 18 years approximately so you, I mean you don't count the first three years because that's like Freudian isn't it uh, so from three until 21 that's 18 years I that was the first time I was hospitalized for two weeks in the Llandidno Medical Center uh, with thanks to Dr David Allen Jones rest in peace thank you for your help and then at 39 years of age, uh, imprisoned in Amsterdam because I went right off my tree. Um, but that's been detailed in a book called Amsterdam by David Williams. Uh, and you can read that for free, actually. You can read it for nothing. So, yeah, sitting in the WI Garden here on a Union Jack bench, while a certain part of the world is at war. Who would have thought that uh, we would have seen that again? I mean, does anybody else remember the, the world at war on a Sunday morning? Uh, the voice of um, Brian Waldron. Uh, well, Brian Waldron was before, wasn't it? It was um, Weekend World or something like that with Brian Waldron. That finished, and I think it was about 11 o'clock then, the World at War with Laurence Olivier and it was the opening montage and the sort of the music powerful stuff powerful stuff and here we are 2022 some believe that uh, we are on the cusp or the verge of World War 3 I don't see it myself unless America and uh, Europe start getting gung-ho I mean it just goes to show how unprepared they have been I mean you know anybody with a little bit of insight or anybody who was watching the, the situation could have sussed out that things were gonna go pear-shaped from about 2014 no way Putin was gonna allow NATO to put their guns and all their you know their psyops on the border so he's just taken a little bit of preemptive 
action and uh, I know this won't go down well with the um, the yellow and blue uh, Ukrainian flag waving brigade well it won't go down well with you will it as uh, leave didn't go down well with the remainers and as anti-vaxxing didn't go down with the vaxxers so you know we are in an age of polarized opinion but uh, anyway I've gone off topic again, as I normally do. Yeah, what was a what was a question, Di? Oh yeah, well, fifty six. Bloody hell, that's old. I mean, fifty five was middle aged, but I think fifty six. I think uh, you're pushing it if you call yourself middle aged at fifty six. I mean, I am. I'm I'm old. Fifty six, you know. You are in the catching pen. The Lord is looking down on you. You know, the Lord is thinking, what is that Burke doing in the Bath WI garden, sitting on the Union Jack iron bench, bursting for a slash, talking about being old? Well, yeah, I feel old, 56. Bloody hell. And yeah, so 39, I had a huge uh, nervous breakthrough, breakdown, imprisoned in Amsterdam, and then a week's observation in the Valerius Clinic, uh, and then back to prison. Ooh, they, they, they hammered me, they really hammered me psychologically. So, I mean, that's part of the reason I wear dark glasses, is the fact that I'm... Um, you know, become rather introverted um, because of all the experiences. You know, I don't want the world and his wife, with emphasis on wife, to see my soul, because the eyes are the window on the soul. And I don't want people peering into my peepholes, thank you very much, because uh, we're all a bunch of nosy bastards at the best of times. So, um, yeah, that's the reason I wear dark glasses, and I've got dry eyes. So when you're sort of, you know, especially in, in towns and cities, when you're knocking about, there's a lot of dust. Uh, so that's the reason. So, yeah, um, so it's, be, it's coming up to 18 years. I can't believe that. 18 years uh, since 39. Well, 57, is it? Yeah, 39 and 18 is 57, so I'm due another nervous breakdown. But uh, at the moment, anyway, things are sort of on an even keel, shall we say. And uh, that little bird is tweeting for its life. Doesn't realise that I've got an AK-47 in my pocket. And I could blow it out of its nest or its tree at any moment, but... You know.